Well, hello, it's Thursday and it's eight o'clock and it is time for the final Zoom Down. And on this show, we will find out whether our champion, John O'Neill, can make it through. He is up against the man from the numbers, Thomas Kappelman. Evening. And our final guest of the series is a man we've waited a long time for, it's Jack Worsley. Hi. We have George Armstrong as our lexicographer tonight, and the capable hands of Jonah Tipper. Hiya. So, so, zoom down 27, we are we are finally here. It's what we reckoned at the start, Fiona, roughly, wasn't it? We, we said, we, I think the first estimate was 24, and then we thought it's not going to be well, 24. Well, th- I think we're we weren't sure, we, we had more and more people signing up all the time, it was, you know, People kind of at first, oh, yeah, it's just, you know, well, we did as well. It was just a bit of fun. Yeah. And, and then it kind of, everyone got interested and it became really good and, yeah, grew it, and grew. It snowballed. It snowballed, yeah. yeah, it has indeed. So we're at Zoom Down 27 and we're here to see whether tonight, whether Jono can make it through. Jono, did you enjoy the last one? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, I enjoyed going back through the chat as well and seeing the sort of abuse and the, the love for my pets that was on display. Um, <laughs> It was like almost as good as the real thing. Hopefully, we balanced abuse, like you know, a little bit of love, a little bit of abuse. That's what we, that's yeah, what we're kind of, of aim for in the chat. Yeah, bit of friendly banter. Yeah, yeah no, it's really good. I enjoyed it. Cool. I'm surprised, surprised to be back. Well, I don't think anyone could have predicted the results of that last game. You know, it was the, the, your three giants of the game, I suppose. So it was hard to to see who was going to beat who. But in your way tonight is Thomas Kappelman. Thomas, welcome to Zoom Down. Thank you. Well, you've been on you've been on Zoom down numbers before, but this is your this is yeah, your but, debut. It, it, which means the press is off this time. Like if it's number, if it's just numbers, then I meant to do well. You don't think you're meant to do well in normal in normal in normal Zoom? Down? <laughs> I think you are. I think you're a great great player. People and people going, yeah, Tom's going to win this one night tonight. People, there's people rooting for you tonight. So yeah, you, know, I, you can't be can't be letting them down. Gra- Graham posted um, a link to a recent co-event where you three guys had all played each other so that was quite interesting <laughs> yeah it was that's right yeah table 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 two round three or somewhere top table round three at lincoln i think it was yeah so you, you guys all you guys all know each other's game we'll come to jack jack you know these boys well yeah i think so i think we all know each other from the co-events mainly well pretty much and uh we played each other a few times online as well and and john i think i know from somewhere else as well I won't talk about that. Would he be your nemesis, shall we say? Nemesis was a big word the last episode. It was uh, Connor um, decided Callum's now his nemesis. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Well, um, I suppose the overall record would be, so, it would be someone like someone like um, Innes or Dylan. You think so, yeah? Or Elliot, um, more, more currently, but I think, I think he's everyone's nemesis at the moment. <laughs> but someone who does you on the telly, yeah, you see, that's that's a proper nemesis, really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you want yeah. payback for that, don't you? That, yeah, well... That, yeah, in the nicest possible way. Of course, yeah, of course. Friendly payback, yeah, that's what it's... Uh... Of course. What, George, looking forward to these games? I'm very looking forward to it. I've uh, got a nice chat in tonight. A few new people in there. Mark Deeks, John Carpenter. Hello, well, good Oh, you. Mark, John got in eventually. Yeah, well he's, done, John. he's worked it out. So, yeah. eventually. Nice to see you, John. Congratulations, John. Everyone gives John a huge Zoom Down welcome from us. <laughs> um, we'll have to get, we will, John is on my list for, for Series 2. So, yeah, I suppose we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that tonight, Fiona. So this game, we're, we're to see whether if Jono can make it through, but the, we're thinking for next season. Well, for, we'll for our viewers, to... we should we should say what you need. So um, to, to yeah. make the finals, he's going to need uh, two wins. He's already got one under his belt and 316 points. So, right, yeah. okay. All right. So, Jono, you know what you need to do. <laughs> he's on 99 well, we, at the moment. What we are thinking, but this is this this may, be, this may influence certain opinions is uh next season next series we're probably going to exclude the top eight from this series and exclude them and go you can't have a go this time (laughs) so they probably won't be very happy about that but this is their chance so Jono, if you make it through this will be your chance to this be your chance to win it you wouldn't get you wouldn't get a chance the next time and the same goes for anyone else in the currently in the top eight positions so what do you make of that is that fair I, th- I think that's very fair, and um, I'm not going to be like one of those guys who waits for a week series on TV. Like, 
you know, <laughs> I'll it's throw fun. this one and go for the next series where think, this top eight's missing. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get. I don't think you're going to get a weak series. To be fair, some no, some no. of the guys no, have been knocked out. Are far series. from weak yeah. players. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. that's very true. But we want to. The, the whole point is we want to involve more and more players. You know, we want yeah. to. We want mainly new players. We do. But that's that's what we, we want to see. Other we, other people who who are not in the top, who didn't make the top eight we'll get another go if there's suitable matches for them so they'll be in yeah. but we'll try and we'll maybe try and limit the numbers to 48 next time instead of 54 we had this year i think it would just be slightly shorter just slightly more manageable and we could maybe expand the numberists a little bit as well because i like to uh thomas you enjoyed the numberists yeah it yeah it was a Challenging bits of formats, but it's good fun. It was, I think, but I think we could we could double the numbers in that, couldn't we? We could maybe bring in some sort of, well, I call them lesser players, but you know, they, they're still fine, very fine numbers players, maybe to have some, maybe just expand that tournament a little bit. I think I might even go have a go myself. So yeah, okay. someone was someone would give it a host. So yeah. little things like that next year. I think we could maybe. Uh, I think we'll do the hyper again. Hyper was the hyper was the most view, viewed video that we had. So people obviously like that format. I think maybe we could we could double that as well instead of just four players. Maybe have eight. Mm. You uh -huh. know those little yeah. things. And right. Well, I think that's all the that's all the admin. Let's crack on. I think we could get on. We'll get on with the game then, will we? Yeah. George is ready. If the players are ready, best of luck, guys. Good luck, hey, 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 good luck John. Yeah, good luck. Take everyone, care. Everyone at home is ready, and we will take it away. So it is, Jono, your letters, please. Uh, could I have three vowels and four consonants, please? Can, and they are A, O, and I. D, N. J and S. Have a vowel, please. An A. Uh, and a consonant. A final Y. Not zoomed out. Thomas? Uh, seven as well. Okay. Yours, please, Jono. Adjoins. Adjoins, yeah. And Thomas? Uh, Adjoins as well. Adjoins as well. That was mine. It nearly came out, really, didn't it? In the first, well, it did come out in the first yeah. seven. So, George, was there anything more to be had? No, just sevens. Adjoins, the obvious one. Nay said, and one completely new on me and probably all of the audience. Yo Jana's, Y O J A N A S. It's a historical South Asian unit of distance equal to about eight miles or perhaps less. Even premium doesn't quite know a day's how walk. long it is. Probably a day's walk kind of thing. Right? Yeah. All right, Nace, I've never seen Nay said in the past participle like that before. Oh, Ronan got Nay said but... in the chat. Yeah, Ronan right, right, and Toby got it. Well, well done, guys. Right, yeah, well done. Seven all, and it is Thomas. Your letters, please. Uh, I'll go for opposite way round. Four consonants, three vowels, please. Okay. F and W and S. A I and O. Uh, consonant. A T. And uh, consonant, please. And a final. And a final R. And that's zoomed down.
Thomas? Uh, eight. Eight. And Jono? Yes, eight as well. Okay, yours please, Thomas? Uh, Waitrons. Waitrons, yes. And Jono? I had the same. And Waitrons. And, well, you had the other one as well, which was mine. Which was Infowars. Yeah, maybe I should have underlined the one that I was choosing. Yeah, I think uh, sure, especially yeah. after it was me being the most vociferous on C4C, <laughs> arguing that that is yeah. cheating. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think you should, rather than writing down all the possible scrambles and holding your paper up and going, "Yeah, it's in there." Look, yeah, look, all the all the possible <laughs> scrambles. <laughs> so, George, those were the two. Those were the two. That was it. Nothing filled up the chat. Me. Those two, I would imagine. Yep, that's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. 15 all? No, Mark, it's a gill. A gill of what? Uh, what is outside my window? Okay. Mark was saying, is that York outside your window? It's not. It's a gill. What's a gill? It's like a little river. Huh? Being a local word. All right. First numbers <laughs> round. Jono? A uh, four from the top, please. Four from the top. Yay. Yeah, already written them down. <laughs> you're too, you're too, <laughs> me predictable. <laughs> <laughs> well, your two smalls are eight and two. And you, can, you probably have these ones written down. And your target. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> one, zero. Eight. Happy to do an end round early if he's won. Yes. Happy. End round early. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom knows that. Tom knows the the drill with the hands up, the hand claps there for the, for the end <laughs> round early. Anyone watching the numbers will be familiar with that. So. Save your uh, pen, Paul. <laughs> John, oh, how did you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's precious. How did you do it? Uh, I did eight plus one hundred. Eight plus hundred. Okay. No LNAFP. Okay, well, that, Thomas, how did you do it? Uh, I did 100 plus 8. You did 100 plus 8. All right. Was there any Was there any interesting ways to do it? Does anyone in the chat have an interesting slash 75 or something? No. no. I don't, I don't, to be fair, I don't think we gave anybody time. <laughs> no, we didn't. Yeah. yeah, well, some would only need that time, as we saw in the numbers. Yeah. Um, okay, so a nice handy 10 points there, lads. 25 each. And we're into round four, which is Tom, your letters. Uh, four and three, please. Four and three. Okay. And they are T, R, D, and S. Juicy. E, O, and U. Uh, consonant. N and um, uh, consonant. And final. Final L. Let's zoom down. And Jono. Uh, yeah, eight as well. Yours, please, Tom. Trundles. Trundles. And Jono. A roundest. And roundest. Well, I think you're both probably going to kick yourselves. There was a nine. Yeah, if you uh, turn your roundest round a little bit, you can have roundlets for nine. Roundlets. Yes, very nice. Tom, it's your fault. I had that written down, but I would have assumed that you would get that. So I'm, nah. a, bit, I'm a bit put out there, mate. <laughs> I, I, I always miss nines. <laughs> you could have told me that before. I thought you were going to go for a vowel or something at the end or whatever as well. I, I, I thought they were going to go for a vowel, yeah. unroosted yeah. or unroosted. Um. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Following what I knew, I didn't know whether any of them were actually in or not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a round for those interested can either be a small, round, or circular object, 
or a historical term for a medieval headdress resembling a turban. You get that one, Jack? Uh, roundlets, yeah. yeah. I, I, I got it. I wasn't 100%. You, also, you got what? Uh, I, I, I got roundlets, but I wasn't um, completely sure. Oh, you weren't sure 100%. That. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The chat, many in the chat get it, George? Yeah, quite a few. Toby, uh, Philip, Graham, Stephen, Ian. Um, I could go on. Well, I think have you know when people when people are going nine nine nine, you kind of think, oh well, that must be in there. Yeah, it yeah. does. It does help you see the nine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like, well, like, you're like, oh, I had an eight, but okay, now I see the nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, round five, and we're back with John. Your letters. F three dance four consonants, please. Okay, and they are O, I, and E. R, Q. V, L. Consonant, please. A B. And a consonant, please. And a final C. Let's zoom down. Six. Six and Tom? Six as well. Yours, please, Jono. Clover. Clover, yes. Tom? And uh, uh, recoil. And recoil. Yeah, those were the two I saw. But there was more, George? There was more. There was two sevens in there. Oh, there were two sevens in there. Want to offer Neither them to Jack? Jack? I got, I got um, Corbet for seven. C-O-R-B-E-I-L. Oh, Corbet. Is yep. it Corbet? Is that how you pronounce it? Like Corbeil is what Corbeil. Premium is telling me. Mm -hmm. It's pronounced as Corbeil, which is a stone representation of a basket of flowers. Hmm. And one anagram thereof as well, Orbisal. Orbicle. Orbisal or Orbicle, yeah. Okay, well, very nice. Safe sixes. Lucky Clover. You definitely don't have a safe six there. Pretty tricky, though, sevens. Yeah. 39, 39, and we're into, Tom, your first numbers. Uh, let's go opposite again, six small, please. Six small. Okay, and your numbers are six, three, and four. Two, one, and five. Oof. So we have a one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> and you target. Six oh six. How'd we get on with this? Uh, yep, 606. 606, very nice. John? Yeah, 606. Okay, Thomas, take it away. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5. Yeah. Uh, times the other 5 and the 4. Uh, add the 1. And time... Uh, no, uh, 100. 100. Oh, oh, sorry, that's 100, sorry. <laughs> 100, yeah. Add the 1, add the times one. the 6. Yeah. John, yeah, I've uh, embarrassingly written mine down wrong, so I'm out. Oh, oh, oh unlucky. Hard luck. Yeah, total bell end. I didn't think that was going to be possible. It's good, as solvable as that. Very nice. Okay. Very nice indeed. So let's change the scores 39 49. Unlucky there, John. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. So we're at the end of round six, and we will chat to Jack Worsley. So Jack, 
Right. Have you talked to your dad yet about dynasties, what I was mentioning, playing in pairs? Um, yeah, as asked him earlier today. He, he said he'd be happy to do it, although he, he didn't think he'd be uh, that much help. Well, he'd be that much help, but he might be a hindrance, you see, as well. You see, that, that could be the fun part of it, because, you know, you have to decide at the start. Um, and Thomas, for this for you as well, for you, you and your mum, to, you know, yeah. you'd be taking it round about. So it would be like, decide who to put on the numbers, maybe, and, or who gets the conundrum. You know, because yeah, yeah. it can't be, it won't be both. You won't be able to go, oh, well, I'll, I'll get the conundrum and I'll take the numbers. No, it'll only be one of you, one of you on each. So I think that could, therein could lie the interest. Could be a bit of fun. Mm, could do. Yeah, Jack, your your dad as a second player of a team is hardly hardly a week. <laughs> exactly. A, a weak position thinking. to have as a second player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The two of them, there was a double max game or something, wasn't it? At Lincoln or something, the pair of them had, I think. So. Um, was yes. that the, the hangover, Jack, wasn't it? Uh, I, th I think it was hangover. We, 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 uh, was two two max games we got, what, we got one each, I think. Or yeah, we got two right. other players, something like that. That's right, what it was. Yeah, Paul, it good for. Uh, Paul, I did tell you I was Elliot's honorary auntie, didn't I? <laughs> Did you? What's this? Oh, oh right, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Elliot's honorary auntie. <laughs> it took me a little while there, yeah. So, are you are you not with George instead? Elliot though? Meller and his his auntie Fiona took him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, because we've got we've got the Saldana signed up, and we have the men. Wow. And... Is it uh, Alan and Richard? Yes, that's right. Wow. Sorry. If they're watching, hope, hopefully they are, uh, because we'll, we'll explain more to Alan maybe uh, if, uh, come the final, because he's going he's gonna to be our special guest for the Zoom Down final this year. So well, we'll, have, we'll have a good ch a chance to, to to chat to him about that, and maybe maybe get his feelings on on how it goes. He was maybe wanting to play Richard, and I thought, well, maybe this is a better idea: play with Richard and play against others. You know, because I think they both want their kids to see them play. Cause their kids wouldn't have seen them play in their prime, so I think yeah. that you know they both want to sort of. Show the next generation that their their old fellas could play one back in the day, kind of thing, you know. So and probably still yeah. can play as well, like, you know. Playing himself down. I don't. He said he hasn't. Alan said he hasn't played Scrabble or he hasn't played Countdown in years. So, but, I'm, sure I'm sure it'll be still pretty good though. I would imagine so. Yeah, the talent. The talent never leaves you. You may. You may get a bit rusty, but the talent never leaves. Yeah, definitely. You, you know. We're all the type that were. I was, you know, I, I remember being very young and re, just rearranging car registrations, driving along the motorway. It's that you're, you either have that kind of, you either have that thing in you or you don't. I think. And, you know. well, uh, well, I developed that after I got interested in counting. I think so. I can't, I can't really see a sign now without trying to um, make a word out of it. <laughs> I, th I think car registrations is your eagle ox training. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I do do that. <laughs> They'll do that. Well, there you go. I don't really play like eagle ox much, to be honest. Me and Tom never bored on a long journey. See, we just look at the car registrations. That looks a little game for us. So, but um, yeah, I just think it'd be really good crack, Jack. But you know, be no pressure. Be just be a bit of a laugh. Yeah, and you know, yeah. hopefully somebody's old fellow or whatever or whatever will probably let them down. And that there, therein lies the comedy. I think you know, it could be, yeah. could be, could be a good laugh and and maybe mix in some, maybe mix in some Arthur Nundrums or something as well. Oh, I yeah, think that's Mark be pushing it. <laughs> no, it's simpler ones, simpler ones. Maybe not not as not as tricky as Elliot can solve, but yeah. So some more sort of gettable, maybe accessible ones. I think could be. Keep everything under a thousand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty easy, easy stuff. But um, yeah, stuff like that. I think, we're, and I think we'll probably do that in the gap when we finish this. So the fi our final will be on the the twenty Thursday, two weeks today. Yeah. Thursday the twenty third of July. Yeah. And we just have the one show that night. So we will, um, yeah, very much looking forward to that. And it feels, I think, getting Alan as well has kind of made it feel like a real special occasion. Now. It'll feel like a, feel like a proper final. You know? Paul will get yeah. his bow tie out. I could, if I can find it, I can only find, I can find half of it. So it's, a bow tie is no good without the other half. You know, it's, it, needs, it needs the bit that sh tightens it around your neck. Mm -hmm. Can't get that, so it would just be hanging. I think I lost it play, you're being cool at a wedding or something one night, you know, where you want it hanging like... James Bond. You know, when you take your tie down and, you, and then you, you, take the, you take it and you have it hanging, it looks quite cool. I remember doing that and probably lost there or something then. So. But um, yeah, I can get a new one. The shops are open again now. So yeah, very much looking forward to that. Um, and say, Jack, sorry to keep you so late in the series, but you you had a, you were a hard man to get. You you didn't reply to my original. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry my, my fault. I mean, um, I'm, I'm, I have a bit of a habit of uh, not responding. See. <laughs> Well, that's, that makes me feel better. That's okay. It's just yeah. standard then. Okay, it wasn't just me. All right. 
Well, that's that's okay, and it's good. It's good to good to finally get you. So, looking forward to seeing you play next next game. Thanks for chatting. Yeah, to us. Thank you. Thanks um, for having me. You're very welcome. And we'll get on with this game. So, round seven. Back with you, Jono. Letters. Uh, three vowels, four consonants, please. Okay. I, O, and A. T, R. B and P. Uh, consonant, please. V. And a consonant. The final D. Seven. Seven. And Tom? Seven as well. Yours, please, John. Uh, vibrato. Vibrato. Very nice. Tom? And uh, parotid. And parotid. Yes. Okay. Very nice. I like vibrato. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Anything else, George? Yeah, just one more seven for me. Privado. An intimate private friend or confidant, specifically the favorite of a ruler. Oh, my privado. All right, very good. Sevens. And that is you, Tom. Uh, four and three, please. Okay, they are G, T, T, and R. A, E, and O. A uh, consonant. An X. And another consonant, please. And the final. Final M. Let's zoom down. Seven. Seven. Okay. And Jono? Seven. Yours, please. Uh, uh, garot. Garot. And Jono? Just speak. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, Garot as well. Sorry. Oh, it yeah, says eight there as well. Yeah. Genuinely, yeah, you can't count. You can't count. Yeah. I declared seven. You did declare seven. So, George? Yep. Uh, very garot. lovely word, Garot, there. And. Very similar one. Very similar one, yes. Marot. What's a marot? A baton carried by a fool or gesture as a mock emblem of office. What we now call a bauble. Okay. Not like a Christmas tree bauble, but sort of the same shape. Okay. So that was a seven. 53, 63. I think garot is one of my worst words because I can never remember which combination of doubles is yeah. allowed. It's like... it, you're allowed two T's, but you can have one or two R's. Okay. Oh, that's what it is, but yeah. you have to have yeah. the two T's. Okay. You have to have the two but T's. I think, I think uh, one T might be valid for American spelling, I mean, I so it just gets really confusing. Yeah, well, don't just don't. Yeah, don't go American spelling. That's the, that's the trick. Uh, one T is not in at the minute. Okay. Yeah. I'm just double-checking all the, uh, the variations. Okay, so we are into round nine, and that is Jono. Your next numbers, please. Uh, could I have four from the top and a harder game, please? Yeah, you can, well, <laughs> well, you have a one and a seven. Not too hard. 25, 50, 75, and 100. Oh, for God's sake. Seriously. 
one zero six. It, it is harder. Yeah, that's what I asked for. I should, you know, shouldn't have said it. It, is, it actually is. It actually is slightly, slightly, slightly harder. One extra sum. <laughs> we, we, we've never had we've never had too easy as easy as some of that on the whole of zoom down and then we get two in a row like we had some easy ones on the numbers but they were never that easy they were like yeah a couple of steps and it was fairly easy but not just yeah add that one and that one yeah okay 10 points lads she'll come up are we actually going to get solutions or did i miss that yeah, we should for the record. What was your solution? A hundred plus seven mm -hmm. minus one. Okay, we'll take that. Yes, and Tom. Uh, I did seventy-five plus fifty mm -hmm. over twenty-five plus one plus a hundred. Okay, somebody work that out. Yep, that works. Okay. Just to give a recap, I do a little bit more work. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> somebody write that down. But anyway, still a ten-point game as we're into round ten, and that is Tom. Your letters. Uh, four and three, please. Okay, and they are S, S, L, and N. E, I, and U. Uh, consonant, please. Z. And a consonant, please. Final N on that zoom down. Six. Six and Jono? Uh, try seven. Okay, you're six, Tom. Linens. If Linens. you can globalize it. We'll see you in a moment. Okay, and Jono? Um, sunnies. Sunnies. sunnies was mine. As short in, as short in for sunnies. Sunnies. You, yeah. you, you, you're sunnies. I've just double checked linens to be safe, and yep, linens is also valid. And, and sunnies? And sunnies is as well. It's a very good seven for Very good. Jono, well, well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, two other sevens in there. Unlines, and I will be very impressed if anyone gets this one. Silenus, S I L E N U S, a from Greek mythology, an aged woodland deity who was entrusted with the education. Oh no, that's the wrong one. I was thinking that. <laughs> I was reading the top one. I need to read the one underneath. I do apologize. A woodland spirit, usually depicted as a drunken old man with ears like those of a horse. Okay. Silenus. Okay. Okay. So, oh, that was a seven, so 73, 69. Andy, sorry. Not a surprise, I'm not seeing any Silenuses in the chat. 70, 70 to 73, yes. That's what I've got. Mm -hmm. And round 11, it's Jono, your letters again. A three vowels, four consonants, please. They are E, U, and O. L, R, R, and M. Uh, vowel, please. An O. And um, a, a vowel, please. And a final A. Seven, I think. Okay, and Tom? Uh, just six. Which is? Uh, morale. 
Morale. And seven, Jono? Uh, Morulai. Morulai, yes. Well, mine was the other one, which was Romuli. But I always, you always see those two coming up. I never knew what they... Until now, George, those two never really stuck. But I liked yeah. them. I, got, I saw them both that time, but don't know idea what they mean. They're not the ones I looked up, Paul. They're <laughs> probably not. No. Well, I'll yeah, write them on the board. You look up your other ones and tell me, and I'll write these ones up. Okay. The, the one I had looked up was uh, Rumel, R W O M A U L, which is an alternate spelling. A thin, usually patterned silk or cotton fabric, typically originally imported from India. And that someone... was yours, wasn't it, John? Mario Lai, yeah. Mario Lai. Yeah, that's the mm. one. Mm. What are, they, what are they, George? Just give me a minute while Lexico loads. There was one of the seven in the section as well. Uh, Morillar, which is Jono's, but with an R instead of an E on the end. Just thought I'd shove that in there for the catch up. So a Morillar is a solid ball of cells resulting from division of a fertilized ovum. And Romuli, which was your one, Paul, is a small flowering, a small. Uh, flowering plant native to coastal regions of southern Europe and South Africa. It's Yellow, Paul frozen. red, or purple plants. Paul frozen for anyone else, or just me? Or is he uh, being very still? Yeah, he's frozen, I think. Yeah, he's frozen. Yeah. Uh, Paul, I don't know if you can hear us, but you probably need to reload. He's gone black for me. Yes. Oh, it's, been, it's been a while since something like this happened, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Paul. I think we said at the start, oh, we're so good at this now. And everything yeah, we got, so got really good. sick now. <laughs> we really we shot ourselves in the foot with that. Curse. It said on mine that uh, Zoom has decided Fiona Titcom is the host now. Yes. Yeah, well, I was the host. I made Paul the host so he could share his screen if he wanted to. We'll give him a moment. Um, otherwise, we will carry on without him. Um, but we won't have a whiteboard, so you'll need to get pens and papers going. Oh, fine by me. thank you, Stephen. Uh, Stephen has just let us know that we have just our 10,000th zoom down point with John 07. Excellent. So very that just me exclusively done. then? Yep. Ah, oh, yeah, take we're it. We're now at 10,006. <laughs> so we were at 9999 and your sevens just crept us over that. I think the uh, excitement might have been a bit too much for me to actually participate in that round if you'd have told me that. So I'm glad that you didn't, that I was actually able to play with a free head. I knew it was coming up. I did just ask Stephen, just when it does come up, just shout. It does. All right, so Paul's got a power cut. Um, so I'm just. Oh. He can't come back. So I guess we carry on uh, without him. Uh, George, are you able to do the picking and read the letters out phonetically so the guys can write them down? Uh, yes, give me a minute. What I'll do is I will start a game against Prune. Does anyone know what round we were on? I've lost track. <laughs> we were on round, because I've got it here. So we've only got two letters rounds and the numbers to go. Okay. That's a conundrum, which I missed a sorting them earlier because I was at work, so I don't know what they are, hopefully you too, Fiona, uh, a player too. I do know what they are. Um, yeah, I don't know how we do that though. That's an interesting one, but hopefully Paul will be back by then. Yeah, if you put it in a document and then share screen or something like that. Yeah, I'll probably... yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll manage. <laughs> Who needs Paul, eh? <laughs> but, TCAP, I think you should play us some music for the, for the interlude. Oh, that's a point music. Um, I've got my egg timer, which uh, which which suffices. Uh, I have a countdown timer, but it's in the living room. No, that's right. Well, we'll use the egg timer, and uh, I'll, I'll give a sort of rough warning when we're ready yeah. that time. If anything, then, if uh, you two, instead of pinning Paul's screen, want to pin Fiona's so you can see the, <laughs> the egg timer. Well, I'll, I, I don't think you need to watch the egg timer. I'll, I'll kind of give a five-second warning. Are you ready, George? Uh, I am ready. I'm just loading the native phonetic alphabet just so I don't make any screw up. <laughs> well, we know it's V for Volante, don't we? <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> just make it I, don't think, I don't think it matters as long as as long as long you're clear on, on the, yeah. the Fs and Ss. Right. And right. right. Anyway, yeah. so I've got an actress game up. Apologies for the wait, guys. And yeah, ready to go. It's round 12, so that is 
Jono, your letters pick. No, it's not. It's Tom's letters pick, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's Tom's letters pick. Tom's letters pick. Oh, God. Uh, four consonants, no, three four vowels, please. Four consonants, three vowels. So you've got that's a vowel. N for November, C for Charlie, T for Tango, T for Tango, O for Omega, A for Alpha, and another O for Omega. Uh, another vowel. E for Echo. And a consonant, please. And a final V for Volante. About 10 seconds. And time. Uh, seven? Uh, yes, seven as well. Uh, 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 Octo eight? And mine was Centavo. And my work here is done. They were the only two sevens in there. Very good, guys. Octoate, a salt or ester of octoic acid. And Centavo is still loading. Unit of currency, currency, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, a, a unit of currency in Mexico, Brazil, and certain other countries equal yeah. to one hundredth of the basic unit. Yeah. Okay. So uh, in Mexico, it'll be a hundredth of a peso. Yeah. So I make that eighty-four eighty. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you keep track of the scores. I've not got them on my. Screen yeah, no, yet. fair enough. I'm, um, I'm hoping, were, I'm hoping yeah. Jack's following along as well. So keep me honest. Yeah. I don't know. I've typed eighty four eighty in me, uh, on my it's, screen. So it was seventy three seventy before, wasn't it? So it's at eighty uh, seventy six. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Actually, I don't know. It, 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 it's definitely four ahead. Yeah. Some, some score. Okay, well, I've got, yeah, got 8480. I mean, it could, it could yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, it's it's right. Right. I was going to say, it should sorry. prove important, so we do need to make sure it's right. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I think you're right, yes. Cool. Right. So it's 8480, then, unless someone tells us otherwise. Yes, thank you, Stephen. 8480. Yeah. And it's a final letters pick of the aim for Jono. Uh, three vowels, four consonants, please. Okay, you got A for alpha. O for Omega, E for Echo, S for Sierra, X for, well, X, right. M for Michael, and Q. Yeah, it's really great that we've had another Q and X, <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> um, a consonant, please. R for Ruby. Uh, and a consonant. And a final G for George. About 10 seconds left, guys. And time. Uh, six for me. And six for me. Uh, ga gamers. And uh, O for Omegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gamers, Omegas, a lot of sixes in there. Orgasm, Ramos, Regmas, Gomas, Marches, Margos, Mogars, and Mogras. And for those complaining in the chat about me reading out the letters we're just doing it so that there is no confusion over stuff like m and n and stuff like that yeah it's a temporary measure total hopefully we get pulled back and see if we've got a message back, back to normal uh yeah no we haven't gotten pulls not back yet hopefully so he'll six be back apiece that's 9286 yep in the final numbers round which is yours tom 
Um, George, have you got the uh, phonetic alphabet for the numbers up? Just checking. <laughs> uh, let's uh, try, and, try and go safe with one large. Okay, one large it is. Your smalls are 10, 1, 6, 3, 9. Your big one is 100. And your target, 5, 4, 3. Check in a hundred times this About time. Ten seconds. And time. Uh yep, yeah, five four three. Yep, yeah, same for me. Yep, Tom. Uh nine times six times ten plus three. Yeah. Simple as that. Jono? Uh I did a hundred subtract nine. 91. Yeah, times six. Five, four, six. Subtract three. Very nice. Five, four, three. Again. Well played, guys. All right. Um, so, Fiona, how are we going to do this then? Right. Um, yeah, I've got the conundrum. So, um, what I will do is I will put it, I'll see about doing a screen share and pasting it on. Uh, let, let's try this first. So, if I do a screen share and I'm do a whiteboard, find. Oh, is that working? Can it's you... starting to work. Uh, yep, I can see stuff now. Uh, I'm just going to type something up and see whether it it works and how big it is because I haven't done this before. Conundrum. Good thing is that that seems to appear exactly the same time for me and Tom. Um, so, I think it's I think it's a safe bet. So It'll that's work. good to go. Right. In that case, well, let's. Uh, uh, oh. I don't oh. know what's happening on OBS. Let me see. I want to make sure the. Uh, the OBS has just hung. That's no good. So the guys can't see it. Right. So that that worked for you guys. It didn't work for the uh, YouTube audience, unfortunately. It'll be okay for them, won't it? Let me see whether I can do something else. Um, okay, let me open a notepad. I've got some pen and paper here if you want to do it that way. Yeah, I mean, that, that is an option, isn't it? I can simply write it down. Oh, yeah, you haven't got it, have you? <laughs> so uh, I, I've looked up in the chat and I, I'm I know which one it is because I checked the chat while uh, I was waiting. Do okay, to do you want to do that? Do you want to write it clearly right. on a piece of paper and hold it up? I, back in a minute. Oh. <laughs> I think that might that might work better. So we can. Uh... Sorry about this, guys. This was wasn't planned right. this way. We're we're improvising. Well, what fun. <laughs> it wasn't well. clear. <laughs> It's great. It's got like a pure lockdown feel now. It's like this, like nine out of ten of my work meetings <laughs> have some sort of technical difficulty. <laughs> we've we've yeah. not had problems for ages. I'm pretty sure that was true of all my work, work meetings before lockdown, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was kind of the go-to guy in my office for. Um, like fixing TVs that won't turn on because uh, like they need to wake it up by moving the mouse and stuff like that. But if you just say, don't know a few times in a row, they stop asking. <laughs> yeah. That's the plan. You can just pop around Paul's house and sort him out then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah just put up the power line again. <laughs> right. Um, yep, I've written it on a piece of paper. I think all the letters are clear enough. Right. Uh, good luck, John. Good luck, mate. You guys yeah. have got George pinned, yeah? Yeah, he's pinned. Yeah. Right. Ready, George? Go yeah. for it. Buzz. Yep. Uh, uh, butterish. Very nice. 
I don't. I'm oh, wow. <laughs> I was like 30% sure, but I thought <laughs> I'm probably not going to get anything better than that. Did you like the scramble, Tom? <laughs> yeah, not sure she does. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> what was the scramble? Ruth Bites. Uh, Ruth Bites. <laughs> That's uh, All right. uh, Tom, Ruth being Tom's, Tom's new wife. <laughs> Well, least, oh really? At least we hope so. <laughs> yeah, lockdown wedding. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just uh, snuck it in. Well, congratulations. That's yeah. Congratulations, mate. No, oh, and well done, John. So that's hundred and ten. All oh, right. I thought you were talking about the wedding. Oh, <laughs> no, worthy, more I, worthy I, of congratulations. I, I, well, both, than that. both, both congratulations worthy. Yeah. Right. So you're on hundred and ninety-nine, and you're aiming for three hundred and sixteen. Yeah, I've got to try and write down all my numbers I'm games correctly. 17, and even I can do that maths in my head. No, I won't get that many points against right, Jack. Right, I'm wondering I'm whether we have um, we have any sign of Paul. We haven't. No, I'm pretty sure I've got his music on my phone. Let me uh, have a look. He sent it to me ages back. Did he send it in WhatsApp? Uh, round music. Right. Is there time for a quick uh, yeah, refreshment? Yeah, go for it. I just want to see whether this works. Cool. Well, that's the music. Okay, so we're we're good to go then. So if if you get your game ready, George. Then... Quick, Jono, come back. Right. I don't know how to reset the music, that's the only problem. Okay, just like that. Okay, so cool, we've got music. One, two, three, one, two, okay, three, Paul's four. not going to be back till 9.45. Um, Did you say he's not going to be back tonight or till a certain Till 9.45. 9.45, Oof, we might be done by then. Yeah. We'll see, we normally are, we're quite quick nowadays. Well, we were until this happened. <laughs> okay, so so we 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 think we're sorted for game two. Um, but once uh... excellent. I will um push myself back up where I was sitting before. Slightly more comfortable. I think it'd feel a lot more um, realistic if either of you guys were able to do a convincing Irish accent. <laughs> Nominate Fiona. No, no, you're all right. <laughs> okay, uh, fine. Right, I'm trying to. I'm sorry, I'm doing too many things. Now. I mean, I, I can do anything for that mainly just relies on saying the words arse a lot. <laughs> I didn't know how much swearing we were allowed to do on here. Well, you you kind of pushed the limits last time, I think. <laughs> I think yeah. Well, I think it was round two, and I dropped an f bomb, and uh, more to I, I, shed. <laughs> I mean, I looked, we've had we've had the c word. Plus, I E R declared. Yes. Oh, but yeah, if it's right. in the game, it's you know it's fair game, isn't it? In the game. Although there is a thread on C four C right now which discusses uh, like a vote in American Scrabble to remove uh, like a hundred profanities from the of the actual lexicon. Yeah, I think. Uh, how you guys feel about the topic of the day? Well, I'm I'm fairly indifferent to be honest. I'm not outraged by the idea. I think for Scrabble, it's it's much more straightforward because you have a defined word list and the words either in or isn't. Whereas with Countdown, it's a lot more subjective. You know, um, a judgment has to be made every time, and it's it's it would make life a lot harder. And I know how frustrated everyone gets by the stupid app, which doesn't allow swear words or even words like fannies. I believe are banned in the app. So yeah, it's kind of fannies isn't the word. Is it? It's about a fan, fanny around. Exactly. Exactly. And that's that's half the problem with it. It's uh... Jack. Do you mind? God. Yeah, I declared it on TV. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I know. Right. Are we all good to go? Yeah, I think so. I think we are. Right. So, who who have we got? Um, are you able to keep got... track of who's who's go it is and things, George? Because I'm kind of doing the overlay yep, and music. Got... Jono as player one and newcomer Jack Worsley as player two. Keep track of the skills on here as well. Yep. Right. So it's Jono's right, pick. Yes. 
Good, good luck, John. John. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Um, good luck, mate. I need uh, it. Uh, three vowels, four consonants, please. Okay, we have got. Oh, let's see, it works. E, O, and A. C, D, R, S. Is that S? S for sugar. S. S for sugar. Yes. I'm happy with like the not for next, but for S and F and M and N, it might be yeah. worthwhile. Yeah. 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 Uh, vowel, please. E. And a consonant. And a final R. And my phone has died. Are you keeping time for Fiona? Yeah, it's done. Sorry, did you not hear oh, the done. music? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a little bit faint, but I did hear it. And, I uh, got no music on my end. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. I'll turn up my volume. Okay, thank you, Fiona. Uh, anyway, Jono. Oh, I'll go try an eight. And Jack? Yeah, I think I'll try an eight then as well. Jono? Uh, Rescored. Oh. Jack? Uh, I've got uh, recoders. I've got good news and bad news. Oh There's one eight in that selection. It's and it's rescored. Yeah, well done. Uh, well done, John. And very unlucky, Jack. Yeah, thanks. Unlucky. So, yeah, thanks. What do you say rescored on you? Is in. Eight nil to Jono and Jack, your letters. Um, can I have um, three vowels, please, Rachel? Three <laughs> I can't say the F word. It's two minutes to... Three vowels. Two minutes yeah. to effing nine. <laughs> e, A, A. And four consonants. R, Z, T, G. And consonants. S for sugar. And a uh, vowel, please. And a final I. That's zoomed down. Eight, I think. Eight, Jono. Oh, try an eight. Okay, then Jack. Um, Agatizers. Agatizers, okay, Jono. Oh, uh, I've got Grazias. I think it's a magazine, though. How are you spelling that? Um, G R A T Z I A S. Okay. I think the magazine's without the T, is it? I think it might be. <laughs> Grazia. I'm working a new station. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't read it myself. I just worked in the news agency for like 18 months. Anyway, so again, we've got good news and bad news. Agatizes is one of two sevens in there. Who you mean? Sadly, I was Andy Platt want. Not now, Andy. And sadly, uh, Grazias is not in there. It's an eight, George, not a seven, yeah? Yeah, as an eight, it's not in there. There is one other eight which I managed to spot somehow. Stargaze. Cool. Stargaze. Very nice. Very good. So it's eight apiece. Into Jono's first numbers. Oh, I have four from the top, please. Four large. Okay. Your littles are one and five. I don't need to explain what your bigs are. Well, hang on, let's let, wait, 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 just can we get them in okay. first? Okay, let me know when you're ready, Fiona. Yep. 
and your target reach is 386. 386 for me. And I've got 386 too. 386 as well. 386 too. It's miles out, mate. Miles out. <laughs> yeah. So, Jono? Uh, so, 50 over 25 is 2. At 75 yep. is 77. 77. Times 5 is 385. And then add 1. Nice. Yep. 386. Read it. Yep. That looks perfect. Okay. Yeah, I can see that from here. Yeah, lovely. And you're just as smart as Stephen Hawking, who did it the same way. Okay, yeah. So that's 18 points apiece after three rounds. Yep, yeah, that's what I've got. And it's round four. Jack's letters. Uh, let, let's try um, three vowels and four consonants again, please. Okay, three vowels. You've got O, I, E. D for dog, V for volante, W and H. Um, consonants? M for Mike. Uh, and the consonant, please. And a final B for Bravo. And that's time, Jack. Seven, I think. Seven, Jono. A five. Five, Jono. Movie. Movie and Jack. Um, home vid. Home vid. Shot yeah. for home video. It's a yeah. brilliant spot, Jack. Very well done. Very nice. And it's it's the only seven nice in there one. as well. Very good. We may have had that on an episode before. I've clicked on it on Apturus. It's showing right. it as purple. Don't know whether that's because I've just been interested or because we've had it on here before. Somebody will probably say which it is in the chat. I spent a few sixes as well. Mm -hmm. A few sixes. Let me go back and look at the section. We can't see any. Can't see anyone um, declaring sisters in the chat. Double no, down. Uh, Sam says Sam says there's two sisters. Not sure what. Okay. Anyway, so twenty-five to Jack, eighteen to Jono, and Jono, your letters. Uh, three vowels, four consonants, please. Okay, we have got U, A, O, C for Charlie, R. Oh, sorry, I apologise. Hang on. U A O C S, was it? Yep. C R S. Okay. And a Q. A vowel, please. It's an E. Consonant, please. And a final M for Mike. Yeah, 
Yeah, Jono? Uh, seven for me. Jack? And I'll stick with seven. Okay, Jono? I had uh, mucosi. Mucosi, and Jack? Curries. How was you that, Jack? Just... C-A-R-O-U-S-E. O-U-S-E. Corrales like pirates do. Yeah, Corrales, I don't pronounce it, but yeah, both valid. Yep. Were you thinking yeah. of something more, Jack? Um, Racimus, um, R-A-C-E-M-O-U-S. Yeah, would have been there. Yeah. Yeah, and there was one other eight which used the Q. Mucasa, M-O-Q-U-E-C-A-S. Yeah. And Mucasa is a strongly flavoured fish stew cooked with palm oil and coconut milk from Brazil. Mm. Very nice. I guess... Um... The uh, mobile place of worship for uh, lockdown Muslims, the Car Mosque. I assume that's hyphenated. <laughs> you don't believe me, Stephen Reid. <laughs> and I assume Stephen Reid's made that same pun in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, seven points apiece. It's 25-32 in Jack's favour. Yeah. And Jack, it's your numbers. Right, uh, I'll go for a large place because um, Jono wasn't happy that I didn't go for a large against him on TV, so. Well, okay then. For a large, your smalls are 10 and 5. Hang on, just let's put the others in. Yep, sure. Whenever you're ready, Fiona. 75 and 100. Okay, and your target to reach is 432. 432. Four, three, two. Jack? Uh, no, it's just uh, 431 not written down. Okay, Jono? Uh, 431 not written down as well. Okay, do you want to both quickly get it? Yeah. Mine's down. Uh, yeah, mine's down. So, Jack? Yeah, I've got Go it. ahead, 431. Um, 75 times 5 is 375. Yep. Add 50. Yep, so 45. Add the 10. Yep, 435. 100, 100 over 25 is 4, take it away. Yep, gives you 431, Jono. Yeah, exactly the same, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah got that. Cool. Yep. Is that 7? Uh, I don't know if you're watching chat. Did anybody in the chat get 431? Four, four, three, two, four, three, two. Uh, there's lots of solutions. I didn't get it. I wasn't trying. Um, there's lots of solutions in chat, but I haven't checked whether they've actually got the right answer because I'm oh, I've got one on my trying screen. to add seven no, to the scores, to, which is about the limit of my maths at the moment. Just to double <laughs> check. So I've got one on the screen I can give to the guys. We've got 75 plus five is 80. Divide that by the 10 is eight. Mm. 100 over 25 yeah. is 4, add to the 50 is 54, and then 54 times 8. Nice. That's annoying. Four, three, two. Yeah. Specifically was looking for that. But... <laughs> uh, Everyone in chat seems to be one away now as well. Cool. Okay. Oh, that's great if you can keep an eye on that for us, Tom. That would be cool. Yeah, thanks, Tom. And, well, we've had around six, and normally at this point we'd go to Tom. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm going after the well, but... screen Hello, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. You... Uh, hopefully, my internet will stay. It's been flapping through the game so far. Conveniently, not when I was actually playing. <laughs> Tom, how did your lockdown wedding go? What was the what was the crack there? Yeah, I was going to watch that, and I had to miss it because of work. Uh, <laughs> so, so first of all, it was brought forward three weeks because uh, it was meant to be Easter weekend, and we decided three and a half weeks before, everything is going badly. We should get married first. And it turned out to be two days before weddings got banned. Uh, oh, okay. So it was kind of wedding party plus a handful of people there, so about 20 people total. But I think we had over three, 300 people at once viewing on 
YouTube. So like, we, we actually had ended up with more guests than we would have done in person, which is really nice. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think doing doing stuff on video is a, a great way to go. It's you know, I think it's been a revelation really through through lockdown. You know, the amount of social contact people have had, um, and being able to do do weddings and even funerals. You know, for, for people who can't attend those, it, you know, being able to do that over video has been, been a great a great revelation. And I think that's probably going to carry on. It's it's not not going to go away. Yeah, no one minds if you don't know like the couple or the deceased you can just turn up but no one cares it's fine you can you know you can spend your days doing it now yeah i'm not, yeah, I, I'm not sure how i feel about no hymns though i think you know they're the best, best bit of church services so yeah whereas getting in just beforehand yeah. we're busy people but i managed to get someone in to play the keyboard because couldn't play a free recorded tune mm. and stream it and could, could still sing uh yeah, and given that we'd have been waiting until the Saturday just gone to get married otherwise, it was definitely a good decision. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. So what's that been like? That's been like four months now, is it then? Uh, getting that way, yeah. How's married life? It's good. Um, we've seen a lot of each other, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so baptism by fire, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for have for the yeah. first two months couldn't really see anyone else in person no. properly a prolonged honeymoon i guess, I guess yeah. um i guess you've had to postpone going away uh yeah we can uh the pre-planned honeymoon got cancelled two or three weeks before the wedding ended up taking place then there was an intermediate plan which also got scrapped at some point we'll <laughs> get away properly yeah no. are we supposed to be going uh sicily Oh. So at one point, our biggest concern was the fact that we were meant to be flying back via Milan, oh. which was the trouble trouble spot first, yeah. and then things escalated. Cool. Hi, Paul. Oh, hey, he's oh. back. Hey. back. Hey. <laughs> we don't need you now, mate. We're, we've sorted. No. <laughs> I can't hear Paul. Can anyone else not hear Paul? We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Paul. Can't hear you at all. No, we can't hear you. No, still laughing, Paul. No, no sound from you, Paul. No, can't hear you. What about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can yeah. hear you yeah. now. Can hear you now, Paul. Oh, sorry about that. Different laptop and all that, so. Right. But you, yeah, you're doing really well, so I, I was just watching on... on uh, YouTube. <laughs> so we'll we'll just crack on, shall we? <laughs> yeah, get on. Okay, this is good. <laughs> right. Come on, Paul. Just relax, have some wine, and have a have a night off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So well, without further ado, so score stands thirty nine to Jack, thirty two Jono, round seven, and that's Jono's letters. Uh, three vowels, four consonants, please. Yeah. We've got U, I, O. R, X, N for November, N for November. A uh, vowel, please. It's an E. Um, and a consonant. And a final F for Foxtrot. Jono? Seven. Jack? Seven. Jono, you're seven? A reunion. Reunion and Jack? I don't know that. Yeah. Can't see that, mate. Down a bit, Jack. Get a bit closer to the screen, I think. Uh, yeah, I can see the union bit. Can you go right a bit? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's, no, he's, written, he's written down the island so that you can't allow that. <laughs> Anyway, reunion and union are two of four sevens, the other two being funnier and inferno. 
Right, so that's seven coins each. So 39, 46. 39 to 46, Jack on 46. And Jack, it's your letters pick. Um, three bars again, please. They are E, E, O. And four consonants. T, L, R, T. Um, consonants. S, the Sierra. Yeah. And um, consonant, please. And a final P for Papa. Jack? Um, eight. Eight. And um, Jono? Yeah, eight as well. You all right, Jack? And um, Loretz? Loretz, L O R E T T E S. Yeah, and Jono? Uh, Treetops. Very nice. Tops, very nice, yeah. Green tops. I uh, just check both of them, and they're both in. Very nice. And the reason I have to check both of them is there is a nine there. I don't know anyone in the chat, Fiona. Anyone in the chat get the uh, nine here? Uh, lots of them have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hazel anyone Tom in the Ray. room get it? Paul. Mm, what was it? Three tops plus what? L. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, even seeing with the chat saying nines, I couldn't get it. <laughs> no. yeah. Teleports. We had teleports there. Very nice. Yeah. I mean, I, I could pretend like I saw it. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, eight points apiece. That is 54 to 47. Or 47 to 50. Jack's favour. Yeah. And Jono. Jono, your numbers pick. Uh, I will take four from the top again. Predict four large again. Okay, your little ones are ten and one, either end of the scale, and your larges are your larges. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, one hundred. Seventy-five, one hundred. Yep. And your target to reach one hundred and thirty-four. Wow, they're getting slightly harder each time. <laughs> It's another ridiculously easy one, yeah. Three whole steps. Three, four. Of course, Jack. One, three, four. Yeah, Jono. One hundred plus twenty-five. Subtract yep. one plus ten. One, three, four, Jack. And I did the seventy-five plus fifty is one hundred twenty-five plus ten minus one. Yeah. <laughs> did we have a hard numbers game in my absence? Did we, or was it as easy? Yeah. Uh, we did have a hard one lot. We did have a hard four large, I think, didn't we? Guys? Yes, we did. We did have it was one. very hard. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Oh, I saw that one. Yeah, I was looking at that one. Yeah, I couldn't, I but that was here. that one was too hard. <laughs> anyway, so score stands ten points apiece there, sixty-four fifty-seven, and it's round ten. Jack, your letters. Um, three vowels, four consonants again, please. There you go. A, I, U, M for Mike, N for November, D. For dog. dog or whatever the alphabet is, Delta, that's it, <laughs> and G for George. Um, consonants. S for Sierra. And uh, consonant, please. And a final F for Foxtrot. Thank you. 
Jack? Uh, seven. Seven and Jono? Yes, seven. Jack? Amusing. Amusing and Jono? Same um, word. Yeah, not that amusing. Yeah, two very, well, one very good seven twice. Two of the sevens in there. Ordings and unmades, which is a word I think we've had on before. Yeah, I do. Uh, yes, we have had that one. It's past nine o'clock. I'm allowed to say what it means. It means to uh, to take a woman's virginity. George, behave yourself. <laughs> it's past nine o'clock, Paul. We're allowed to say stuff like that. Now. <laughs> Ording as well. The action of comprehending and retaining information in speech, as opposed to merely hearing or listening it. Ording it. Ording it. Seven points apiece. Uh, Sixty-four plays. Seventy-one. Round eleven. It's Jono's letters. Uh, three vowels, four consonants, please. Okay, your vowels are I, A, O, L for Lima, D for Delta, M for Mike, and R. Uh, vowel, sorry, vowel, please. Vowel, oh, okay, that's another I. Uh, and a consonant, please. And a final consonant, that's a T. T. Shono? Uh, eight. Eight. And Jack? Eight. Shono? Trimodal. Trimodal. And Jack? Uh, Rotaliad. Rotaliad, one of those tricky double I words. Oh, that double I thing, yeah, very nice, Jack. Yeah, yeah. never know how to yeah. pronounce those. Yeah. And unfortunately, Jono, uh, that's the only eight in that selection. That's unlucky. Mm -hmm. Trinomial. And I think binomial is in it. It's a maths term. Trinomial. But certainly no trinomial. Is there unimodal as well? All right, Jack, and I need to rub it in. <laughs> yeah, lots of retaliates in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, but wrote a lead or retaliate the, uh, the Darren there. Very nice. Okay. Eight to Jack, that's uh, 6479. And Jack, it's your letters pick. Let's, let's try uh, four consonants this time, please. And then three vowels. Okay, four consonants. We've got W, P for Papa, T for Tango, and J. And three vowels. Three vowels, I'm oh, sorry. O, E, E. All right, consonants. It's an S for Sierra. Uh, vowel, please. And a final I. Jack? Seven. Seven and Jono? Seven. Your seven, Jack? And poetize. Poetize and Jono? Uh, same. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yep. Very that's nice, poetize. Yeah. Yep, seven was the max there. Uh, we had a nice little peewits. And the South African, is it potkey? I know it's pronounced with a K. Pronounced yeah, the T as well, is it potkey? Potkey, small pot, isn't it? Really? Yeah, a cast iron pot, typically having three legs. 
used her on an open fire. So seven points each. All right, that's 71.86. Yep. Yep. And it's round 13, last letters game. Jono, your pick. A pig. Yes. Um, I have three vowels, four consonants, please. Three vowels, four consonants. Okay, your vowels are A, E, O. Consonants are R, N for November, P for Papa, and S for Sierra. Uh, vowel, please. So U. And a consonant. The final V. For Volante. For Volante. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not on top of the music. I'm at Zoom down. Jono? Nine. Nine. Jack? Nine. Jono? Supernova? Um, uh, same word. Uh, can you see it? Uh, yes, yeah, I can see lovely. it. Very, very nice. Yep. Very well, nice. crack out the champagne. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now I've got to add 18. <laughs> You've got to add 18. Uh, 89104, Fiona, is what I've got for yeah. that. So. Very good, guys. Very good. Didn't see that one myself, no. I uh, imagine a few in the chat will have. And then even more will love once they were told there was a nine there. Yes. Mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah, 104 to 89. And Jack, your numbers? Oh, let's do one large. I'll be, I'll oh, be you one. might say that. Yes. Okay, your smalls are one, four, six, seven, ten. Your large is a 25. Oh, good for you, Anna, yeah. Yep. And your target, 875. 875. And that's the new 875. Jack? Yeah, 8.75. Yeah, I think we can end the music, Fiona. I think okay. they've both got it. Jono? Yeah, I hope you're proud of yourself, mate. Yeah. 8.75. <laughs> yeah, Go sorry. on then, Jack. Um, 4 plus 1 is uh, 5. Times 25, yeah. times 7. 4, 2, 5. And times 7 is 8.75. Jono? Uh, the 6 minus 1, and then the same. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but for four lodges, uh, which have been too easy tonight, so I thought I'd... Um, very easy, very accessible for even non four large players like myself. So, yeah, that was, that was very easy as well. Well done, guys. Okay. Get into the conundrum. Well, it looks um, like right Jack's over the line. Did that go right? Jack over the line, did yeah. it? Take a Jack of the line. It's why he played the one there. large. Unlucky, Jono? Yeah, no problem, no problem. If he wants to be you like nearly, that, you know. You nearly got there, Elliot. Can relax a little now. Yeah. yeah, I want to get this and then make it so that it was only because I wrote down the six small solution wrong. Was that, that what it was? I didn't make the finals. Well, I'm also not going to get this, but you know, we'll see. Right. How are you doing? I missed the conundrum. How are you doing? Uh, that? I've got it written down on the other side of this piece right. of paper. Uh, Fiona, uh -huh. have you got the overlay ready? Yep. Yeah. I'd have to check the chat. It is the right conundrum. <laughs> we hope so, so if you're ready, Fiona, with music and overlay. Oh, hang on. Let me get the music ready. I've forgotten about music. Oh. Right. Are we? Oh, gosh. I, I can't do two things at once. <laughs> right. Are we ready? Go. Yep. Uh -huh. Thank you. 
No. Nope. Uh, time is up. No one got it. Tom, uh, did you get it? Possibly face blush. No. No. Uh, out. Looking at the chat. Did anybody in the, in the chat? chat? Yeah, a few in the chat yeah, got it. Uh, let me see. Uh, Damien got it. Hazel got it. Um, Philip got it. Yeah. So it was. And Tracy got it. Yeah. So the answer. Flash cube. Flash cube. Oh uh, yeah. Nice. Bit, yeah. Bit before you guys time maybe. Yeah. You... What is that? I'm sure. My guess makes more sense. Um, in the old days, uh, when you had your cheap cameras, you you bought a flash cube and it slotted on top. And when you took your photo, it went flash and yeah. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Careful yeah, where that camera yeah. goes. Yeah. We've been burned by cats in the past. <laughs> Cutie. How many cats have we had on Zoom time? We have We've had a fair few cats. Uh, many, many cats. We had Dave and Susie's next door cat, and we had, uh, was it Stephen Halford's cat, which we don't <laughs> yes, talk about. Which we, yeah. we don't mm -hmm. talk about. <laughs> uh, I, I, try and, I try and bring mine next time if you want, although she's not allowed to this <laughs> oh, Please do, Jack, please do. Oh, he, yeah. just, uh, he just popped up to say that he was disappointed with Jack's tactics in round 14. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on the fence about it. You've got to do what you've got to do if you want to win that badly. It's, you know, yeah. pathetic. But... Yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> well played. Well, Close game. A great game, guys. So we're really well done. Well done, mate. Good game. Forward, well played. So. I'm well played. I'm great well played game under difficult circumstances. Well played the team as well, considering and all things considering. We had a, we had a nasty power cut. They're saying they told us quarter to 10. Now they're saying it's half. It's going to be half 12 before power is back on. <laughs> Oh. Relying on daylight here and a 3G phone tether to to communicate, but it's been that's been class and like thank thanks very much guys for for taking part. You know, especially so late in the series as well. So we really really do Happiness. appreciate it, all of you. You're all champions, and so that is the end of our preliminaries. At the end of Zoom Down, Zoom Down 27. So on Monday we will have the quarterfinals. Now, does anybody, George? Do we have a do, do we have the table? Yep. So uh, I'm getting the table on my screen. Fiona's got it. I, I've anyway. got it. Yes. Yeah. So, so so our top eight are confirmed now. Our number one seed is is Dan, and and he had a, a really tough run to to num on his his go, um, faced some very good players. And then we've got Bradley number two. He was our our first tech for champ. Uh, we've got Jonathan Wynn as number three, Connor Travers as number four, and. Um, Ian as number five in Volante, V for Volante. V for Volante. Yeah. Uh, Big Steve Anderson's number six. Uh, Hazel doing it for the girls at number seven. And nice. Elliot at number eight. So uh, we're going to have some eight. cracking games there, I think. And uh, yeah, really. We have. So we're going to do what the traditional way is going to be one plays eight, two plays seven, three plays six, and four plays five. But now the, the, only, the only caveat so what yeah. uh, normally on Monday we would, you would have had uh one versus eight and two versus six but we're we're Seven. gonna we're gonna switch it around connor's moving house and we'll have no internet so fair enough gets a decent excuse um so on monday we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, quarterfinal one and we're gonna have quarterfinal four and then on thursday we will have quarterfinals two and three so basically on monday they will find out the, the victors of those two quarterfinals will play each other in the semis and then the victors of thursday's two matches will We'll play each other in the semis as well. So, so makes sense for everyone. Yeah, if I'm right, so that means Monday is Dan v Elliot and Connor v Ian. Yeah. Um, great lineup, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Really and good. then on Thursday it will be Bradley against Hazel and Jonathan against Steve. But what we That's all correct. want to know is what bandana Ian's going to wear. It's the battle of the bandanas, that isn't it? <laughs> And if Connor can catch him. Connor mm, looks like something from the Lost Boys, I thought, you know, like kind of, you know, real sort of those sort of eight, you know, those 80s kind of anarchic American films, Fiona, all yeah. that kind of, <laughs> kind of dystopian futures and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, I like it. It's kind of, so I, I'm expecting a good bit of style from that. Um, but it's been an amazing series. And I'd like that even just tonight just proved it, like when I have a power cut and you guys can roll on. So that's the way it should be. And so, well, big up to yourselves and fair play to you for doing that. That was that was great. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Instead of the shit hitting the fan and everyone switching off, so that didn't happen. Um, it's been really, really, really good. So, 
Yeah. As I said, yeah, the, the top eight. So these top eight, yes, you've made it. Congratulations. But this is your chance now. So you got to take it. You won't be in next seasons. Yeah. And you, so, and you guys, John, at least you, you can come back next time if you want to. So, yeah. Yeah, be yeah that was the plan all along. <laughs> when we start again next time, Jack will be our incumbent champ. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good, pretty good champ to to start off series two as well. No pressure, Thank you very much, Jack. Yeah, they, Thank they'll you. all been queuing up to play him. <laughs> they will, yeah. Who wants, wants to crack it, Jack? No, no, seriously, step forward. No, no, come on. Must be one of you. <laughs> we'll find someone, Jack. We'll maybe we'll try and make it interesting. and maybe get someone from yesteryear if we can. Oh, cool. Get that kind of get maybe some, that kind of match for you. Well, we'll um, see what we can do. We will see what we can do. We, we've managed quite a lot, so mo most people have said yes to our to our advances. Um, yeah. But it's, it's going to be great. Um, so, how did the chat get on tonight? With the chat enjoying it, they, they seemed very appreciative of the fact you carried on. So, yeah, I was getting, I was getting a bit of gentle ribbing. I'm not needed anymore, so that's fine. That's <laughs> uh, maybe you can play next um, series, Paul. Say again, Jack. Maybe maybe, maybe you can uh, be a contestant in the next series. Yeah, maybe, maybe if someone, yeah, maybe. George did a pretty good job of the old hosting tonight, man. Yeah, I think yeah. With, with a bit of notice, we could knock something slightly yeah. more professional up. But yeah, no, it worked. It worked. Get George with the, George I with do the know big, big on... rich cash or something. That would kind of work, you know, the, the, the anchor man kind of look or something. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen on Incoherency nowadays, they've got a Zoom, like, play-along feature where you can do letters, rounds, and numbers around. So you can maybe some sort of shared screen thing with that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll, sort, we'll sort something out. We'll get we'll get you on, Paul. But this was yeah. But this was very this was very rare tonight. Now that this is it's just it's a whole like the whole area is gone. Somebody somebody messed up badly somewhere. Somebody snipped the wrong cable. But um, yeah, nothing really more to say. I suppose tonight we are like thanks thanks for watching. Thanks for making this what it is. And you all you all have. Um, and it's been great fun for for us making it as well as you guys watching. I hope so. Yeah, we'll see you all on Monday night. See you next week for the final. Or two, two amazing games. Thank you very much. Yep. So, and thank you very much, guys. And we'll see Jack next series as our reigning champion. So, okay, see you then. Cheers, all. Good night, guys. We'll see you all on Monday.